everybody. We're going to talk about the addition and subtraction postulates and proofs. So make sure that you're on lesson two. It looks just like this. So make sure you turn to the right page in your packet. Okay. So you have some fill-ins here. We use the addition or subtraction postulates when we are given too little, either our sides are too short or too much. Our sides are too long of a segment or it could be of an angle. So when using either one of these, either the addition or the subtraction postulate, we must use four steps to prove the sides or the angles are congruent. So first we'll talk about the addition postulate. So triangles overlap, so either the entire triangle or maybe just the side of the triangle. And if we're only given a piece of the sides, we have to use the addition postulate. So let's take a look at an example. All right, so here we want to prove triangle QRS is congruent to triangle TUV. So you can see here we have in our diagram that we took it out so that you could see it better. So we have Q or S. And T U V. We'll leave it in the diagram as well as set aside so that you can see it. So we are given here QT is congruent to VS. Notice that's only a piece. So that's where we're going to need to use the addition posture. We don't have enough. QR, congruent TU, so if you want to see it here as well, QR, congruent to TU, that's enough. And RS, that's here, congruent to UV. So if we draw it on the ones that are separated, that's here. So that's good too, we have a whole, a whole side. But this first one, this QT, congruent to VS, we need to use the addition function. So let's look at how that would go. So we said there would be four steps. The first step is to state your given, QT congruent to VS. Your next is you need to see what the overlapping is, because I'm going to be adding that to both sides. So if I look here in the overlapping, it's TS. That's my overlapping piece. So I need to name that congruent to itself. And we know when a quantity is congruent to itself, that's the reflexive property. So now what we do is we add them together. QT plus TS is congruent to VS plus TS, and that's our addition postulate. Notice we're adding QT plus TS and VS plus TS. So we're adding the same thing to both sides. We're adding TS to both sides. And then our last step is we're going to use substitution, and we're just taking a look, saying what is QT plus TS? I look back at my picture, QT plus TS, another name for that is QS, and then I have VS plus TS, look back at our picture again, VS plus TS, another name for that is TV, or BT, and that's substitution, we're just substituting in a different name. Okay, so that's your four steps of the addition function. Now that I have a slide, go back to our other givens, QR congruent to TU, given RS congruent to UV, given. This gave us a side, so we can say the two triangles are congruent to each other because of side, side, side. We're going to skip this for now, and we'll be doing this question in class. Okay, so now we're going to look at the subtraction postulate. So the subtraction postulate we, we use if we are given too much of one side and we want to take some pieces away. So in this example here, uh, let's just look at maybe what we're trying to prove first. So we're trying to prove this triangle congruent to 
this triangle here. But in our given, we are given that RA, so this piece here, is congruent to BT, which is this piece here. That's too much of the side. We don't want that whole length. We want to cut it down. Okay, so we'll get to that in a second. Then we're also given that RS is congruent to BC and angle SRT, which is over here, congruent to CEA. Okay, um, so with the subtraction posture, let's just look at this given again. So again, we were given too much of this piece. But notice if we take away TA from both of those, we'll get what we want. We'll get then this piece. And if we take TA from away from ET, we'll get this piece here, which is exactly what we want. We want to cut it down and make it smaller or subtract. So it's very similar to the last one. So we'll state our first given. And then let's state what we want to subtract, what we want to take away from both segments. So TA. So TA is congruent to two TA, and that is the reflexive property. And notice again, this works the same way. We're going to do RA minus TA, BT minus TA. Now you wouldn't put these little subtraction marks in your proof, but the, that's just to show you that that would be our next step here. So RA minus TA is congruent to BT minus TA. And that is the subtraction postulate. So now we want to think the same way. When we subtract, when we do RA, when we do RA, and we take away this TA here, what do we get? We get this segment. When we do BT minus AT, what do we get? Well, we get the segment that we wanted over there. What do we want? Well, we wanted RT to be congruent to BA, so when we subtract TA, that's what we get, and that is substitution. And then after that, we're just stating our other givens. So RS congruent to BC, that's given, and then angle SRT congruent to angle CBA, that's given as well. Let's just go back up here and figure out which method it would be. So side, angle, side. Side, angle, side. So we can go ahead and say the triangle is congruent by side, angle, side. And that's really uh, the addition and subtraction postulates. So, so just flip to the back. So we're, we're going to skip this okay. question. And then here is just um, some reminders. If your segment's too short, so if it's not the full side in the triangle, then you're going to need to use the addition postulate. So you're going to probably add on that reflexive piece. So given reflexive addition substitution, and now if your second's too long, you need to cut it down, given reflexive subtraction substitution. So uh, we'll be practicing that tomorrow in class.